acne and chronic skin issues, fungal, bacterial, and patigo. We're going to dive into the root cause, underlying physiology, how does functional medicine deal with this, and what other deeper issues should we look at when we have these kind of chronic stressors. Rob, how are we doing, man? Welcome back to the podcast. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, good to be here again. And uh, kind of talk about this uh, this thing. You know, it's funny because we're, we we see different kinds of uh, patients and clients every single week. And then every once in a while, something happens to us. And uh, so anyway, I was talking to Justin the other day. and said, hey, you know, I got this. Uh, I sent him a picture. said, I got this. Uh, looks like fungus to me on my leg. What does it look like to you? And he said, yeah, I think that's what it is. And so we said, well, let's do one on on skin and uh, uh, conditions underlying chronic skin conditions that people have. So that's what we're doing today. Absolutely. So when we deal with skin, obviously we can have chronic fungal issues, especially on the feet very easily, especially if we're walking around with sandals and we're not really getting those sandals super clean. It's very easy to get fungus on the foot or on the toenails. I mean, you start to see some discolored orange or more yellowy thickening of the nails. That's the, the keratin debris. So essentially you have these dermatophytes or these fungal cells and they go in and they eat the keratin which is on the, the nail protein and then it spits out this keratin debris that looks yellow and discolored and thicker and maybe more opaque or um you know not as translucent maybe a little bit you should say maybe a little bit more not quite as transparent a little bit more like foggy glass kind of thing and that's the keratin debris from the fungus and it's really easy especially when you don't have you know super clean sandal. Like I got it in Austin really bad because I wear sandals every day and I didn't really get my sandals super clean. I wear special kind of sandals now. I love these guys because they're they like from far away. They, they look bad. They look like leather, but they're actually hard plastic. And so I like them because I can throw them in the, in the washing machine, throw them in the washing machine, put some wash soda in there, which is basically baking soda for the washing machine. Let it sit for like an hour and that cleans fungus and yeast. So I clean my sandals regularly in the summer, which helps a ton. And one of the best things you can do for topical foot fungus, because I saw pictures of yours, you have to get that scaly whiteness, especially around the heel, heel. That's a big sign of fungus. And so what we'll do is eight ounces of white vinegar, and we'll put it in some hot water, just enough to cover your entire foot in that fungal area. We'll add in a herbal foot fungal soak, which is like tea tree, melaleuca. It'll typically have some Epsom salt, some dead sea salt, but that works phenomenal for cleaning out a lot of that fungal stuff on the skin. And I'll use like a heel exfoliator as well to really get that dead skin off as well. And kind of clean that off, debris it all off. And then typically, I love this product. It's a tea tree oil of oregano nail kind of polish. And so I'll do that on my toes like twice a day. That looks great. And I'll put all the links in a pinned comment. So if anyone's listening and they're like, what's he saying? I'm driving. I can't, I can't see the videos. I'll pin some of the products I recommend in a comment. So this video is going live now. So give me a day and I'll get it up there for y'all. So this is a tea tree oil of oregano product by Purely Northwest. That works really good. Mm -hmm. I also like carousel foot patches. They go on the nail. It works really good. This uses like a glycolic acid in there. Glycerin, a tart tartaric acid is the correct one. And a little EDTA. This works really good on it. This works good. Also, yeah. You can get it in a liquid form too. And I like it because that acid kind of takes the nail and it starts to make it look more transparent again, like you can see through it. So it helps the nail quality too. This is carousel. Mm -hmm. and here's the patch form that I like. And this is really good too. You can mix in some terracil, which has a little bit of clotrimazole, which is antifungal, but it also has some tea tree and some silver and some peppermint. These work really good as well. And, these too. and again, because I deal with patients from all over the world, for the last 15 years, I'm always testing products. I'm like, oh, what works? What? Because like, I got to figure out what's the best. I'm dealing with patients that have these issues. What are the options? Mm -hmm. This is another good one here. It's a nail fungal patch. You put it over the nail, and this has a tea tree in it as well. It has, let's see what else? It says tea tree, and it has a couple other things in there, but there's some good herbs in here. I like this because topically, it's nice to put it on you and keep it all day. So these are really great for nighttime. Mm -hmm. And then I'll typically topically apply that on my nails if I have any fungal issues two to three times a day. And I'll typically wear go barefoot or I'll wear sandals in the morning and let it dry. The key thing is you don't want to put it on and then put your sock on. So dealing mm -hmm. with foot stuff, a lot of foot stuff, you have to deal with it topically because it's just too far away. Your feet, especially your nails, they don't get the best circulation. And their feet are in an area, especially this time of year in the summer, it's hot. There's a lot of moisture. Fungus loves that. And so you need to topically hit that. So whether you get a, a heel pummel stone or a heel 
exfoliator. You soak your feet for 20 minutes. You use the herbal foot fungal soak. I'll put the link down below in a pinned comment. You use the vinegar, eight ounces, enough hot water to cover your feet. Let your feet soak for 20 minutes. Then your feet come out. You use that exfoliator heel scraper on there. Get all the dead skin off. Now your skin's nice and smooth. And then you topically apply that on the nails. And the nails, I typically recommend it morning and night at least is great. And then if you're really bad, you can also do a patch at night as well. That's a great way to hit the nails. The nails are more unique because of the poor blood flow and just how moist socks are and feet are. You really have to hit that specifically. But a lot of the drugs that are out there, the Lotrimin yeah. or the, the different antifungals that you'll see, they're very hard in the liver and they can really raise liver enzymes. And so you got to be careful with those. 